two days, people have won gifts. Curtsy. Curtsy. Very good. So we have a final presentation today before we announce our winners. This presentation will be focused on the 5G opportunities in Nigeria. And now it's my honor to bring up the Managing Director of Huawei Technologies Nigeria for a presentation on the 5G opportunities in Nigeria. But very quickly, he is an Executive Manager in Huawei and he has been that for 16 years with a university background in management and economics as well as working experiences in global markets. Chris has deep insights and knowledge in the ICT industry. He served as sales director in Huawei, Netherlands, CEO in Huawei, Portugal, managing director for enterprise business in Huawei, Germany, and now is the chief executive officer of Huawei, Nigeria. Ladies and gentlemen, please make welcome Chris Liu, the Managing Director, Huawei Technologies, Nigeria. If you make the applause louder, maybe you'll get more gifts. Maybe. Maybe. Please let's make welcome Chris Liu for his presentation today. Thank this you is very the part much. where you clap. Oh. Let him know that you love him. Oh. Hmm. And let him know that you are thankful <laughs> for all the gifts that you have gotten. Thank you for your support. Over to you now, Chris. Ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. It is my great privilege to join such a fantastic tech fair. And of course, thanks to Zenith for your invitation. I hope I can bring some value to this event. But before I start, let me ask a question to everyone who sits here. Who is interested? Who is interested in 5G? Raise up your hand. Wow, amazing. Amazing. I mean, normally, on the second day of such an event, especially in the afternoon, people get tired, sleepy. So I'm thrilled to see still so many enthusiastic participants. A big thanks to all of you. Thank you very much. So we hear about 5G every day. I mean, 5G, 5G, 5G. Sometimes we are sick and tired of hearing 5G. So what exactly is the benefit of 5G for us? I once asked my mom, hey mom, according to you, why 5G is better than 4G? She thought about it and I said, hmm, 5G is fast. Okay, how fast? Well, very fast, <laughs> okay. But then what is in for you? She thought about it, said, okay, I can enjoy my drama show everywhere at any time. All right, valid points. That's cool stuff. So 5G truly can bring us much higher speed, which allows us to enjoy a higher and higher definition of video, no matter 4K, 8K, anytime and anywhere. That's cool. However, we say the fast speed is only one pillow of the triangle. What really differentiates 5G from 3G or 4G is that 5G is no longer connecting people and people, but connecting people to machine, machine to machine. So therefore two other pillows are very, very critical. First one is ultra reliable low latency. I mean, talking about less than one millisecond. The second one is massive machine type connection, connect millions of devices. It sounds cool, right? But again, what is it in for us? The thing is, look, I worked many years in Germany and I had a lot of cooperation with BMW, Mercedes and Audi. See, they have fancy production lines producing every day thousands of luxury cars, right? But they all have a common pain point. That is how to be flexible. Why flexible? Because customers have more and more different requirements every day. So therefore, sometimes management, for example, like Adora, might say, oh, according to analysis, our customers are demanding more sedan than sports cars. Yeah? Or management like Ebenezer might say, hey, the fuel price, will go sky high. 
So let's stop producing big SUV and produce smaller cars. Well, it's easy to give such demand, but when it goes to manufacturing guys, it's a big problem. Because changing the production line from producing one type of car to another takes weeks, even months. Why? It's not only about moving the machines and the robotics, it's about opening the floor and recabling thousands of cables everywhere. That's a nightmare, it's a disaster. So some people say, hey, how about we cut off the cable? Yeah, it's easy, right? I have controller, no cable, right? However, technical-wise, it was not possible before 5G came. Imagine all the KUKA robotics in the production line. It receives tons of signals every second. Once there's one millisecond delay, it will stop. Then the whole production line will be faced to, to froze, and that's a big disaster, a big loss. So therefore, we need ultra low latency and high reliable network like 5G, which can provide really, really low latency, less than one millisecond. So see, this is the benefit of 5G for industry. And imagine in the big factory, there are thousands of machines, devices, which needs to be connected. That's why we need massive machine type of connection. So see, this is the real value of 5G, not only to consumers, but also to industries and business. The good thing is globally, 5G is developing very fast. And in this year, we also had the first commercial 5G in Nigeria provided by MTN. And then we are going to see more and more 5G from all different operators in the future. So how about in Nigeria? What might be interested for 5G in the industries in Nigeria? Let me put two examples to show it. So as we see, there are so much rich mining resources in Nigeria, more than 44 different types of mining. However, our perceptions to mining industries is what? Dirty, harvest environment. Accidents happen very often and people get injured, people get died. So what can we do about it? Perhaps, perhaps we can move all the miners out of the mining ground, leaving all the machines inside. And perhaps we can invite all the miners to Zenith's office, give them a, a uniform with a suit and ties, and they can be sitting in the office environment with air conditioning, facing all the monitor screens with controllers, so they can control all the machines far away, underground. And thanks. Yeah. Sounds great, huh? So thanks to the fancy 5G technology, this could be possible. So therefore, we can remove all the accidents and eventually even change perception of mining. So mining is no longer maybe a, white, a, a, a blue corner. Maybe it's a, a white corner business with real experience of controlling all the fancy machines and stuff. Another one is about ports. Uh, there are more than eight seaports in Nigeria with every year turnover of 35 million tons of goods. That's amazing. However, the efficiency was very often the difficult part in the ports. Imagine in the video, we see a lot of AGV, auto-guided vehicles, moving around with autonomous driving technology. This can greatly improve the efficiency. Here's the thing, we talk about autonomous driving very often, but imagine if I see a car without a driver on a legal street, I'll be frightened. Oh my God, what's happening, right? There are legal issues, there are a lot of issues which we concern. So technology is one thing, but legal is another thing. But imagine in a port where we are sitting in a closed environment, no passengers, uh, no vehicles, but only the machine, AGV, from the organizer. So in such a closed environment, we can do whatever we want. Autonomous driving, no problem. All the machine-to-machine -machine connection, no problem. So this is another way where 5G using the massive connection 
and low latency can help with industries. Now, I mean, most of us sitting here are related to financial segment. So what might be interesting for the financial segment? Well, honestly, I don't have an idea because in front of all these financial executives, I'm not an expert. So there might be a lot of different ideas which needs to be explored from all you guys sitting here. Perhaps smart branch could be interesting. Why? Because instead of investing huge money, opening one new branch by another, maybe we can put a lot of ATM machines in a shopping mall in the office environment where with advanced features and a 5G connection. So instead, instead of going to the branch office during weekday working hours and then having someone sitting in front of you dealing with your applications, you could face the machine having a video conference with somebody sitting in the headquarter of Zenith Bank and with facial recognition as an authentication way, then you can sign it on a screen like Ebenezer was signing on his iPad to deal with all the work. So this could be an idea, but honestly, I don't have an idea what it can be in Nigeria. Let's talk about it together. One thing is important, I mean, technology is a foundation of all the fancy user ideas, all the good stuff. For infrastructure, we strongly believe there are two things which are very important. One is connectivity. Another one is computing. Nowadays, we are talking about connectivity everywhere. And of course, 5G is great, but 5G is not all. See, I have 5G signal outside, but I don't have 5G signal here, inside. There will be a lot of scenarios in office, in factories, and everything where you might not have every, everywhere 5G. And that is the reason we need a lot of other type of connections. For example, Wi-Fi. Yeah, Wi-Fi is no longer a box that gives you data. Now, the state-of-art Wi-Fi have a lot of features. For example, beforming. The antennas follow you wherever you go. You go here, they follow you. You go there, they also follow your device. And for mission-critical service, they can have slides and features where I give high prioritization for mission-critical and low prioritization for other services. Also, very importantly, when you move from one spot to another, if you have a cutoff in between, maybe it's not a problem when you have a video call. One second, no deal. But if you have a machine crossing, wow, he has no brain. He will break down. And, of course, we're talking about 5G, Wi-Fi 6, but many, many more connectivities. Bluetooth, Zigbee, whatever. So with all the connected things, we can make the world be sensed everywhere. All the machine, all the sensors, and everything can be connected. So this is one fundamental foundation. The other one is computing. Of course, we have a lot of new CPU, new servers, but the other side, in the age of information, data is exploding. In the past, we used to say disk to disk to tape. Maybe some of the, the young participants have no clue about what is tape. In the past, we used to have the prime storage with disk. We have the uh, backup storage with disk, and then the archive with tape. But nowadays, thanks to technology innovation and the cost reduction, we can make all the prime storage using old flash. We can have all the backup using old flash. And as of the archive, X means anything, cloud, whatsoever. Of course, for many startups, for many companies, going for cloud is another choice. Yeah, we are working with a lot of financial companies, education, and also a lot of internet companies with Huawei Cloud. If you want to remove all the hassles, going for cloud is a very easy way. We just had a small competition with the seed stars. So I'm also looking forward to see later on who is the winner. And what I want to provide is giving Huawei Cloud to the winner free of charge. Free of charge. So they can, I mean, he or she 
can really focus on their own key business and forgetting about all the IT stuff. Leave it to the cloud. All right, let's see who is the winner. So, I mean, there are a lot of technology stuff which I won't talk one by one. But the important thing is, what I want to start and end with is, technology is only one thing. I remember very clearly, because I built a lot of 3G, 4G network globally. At that time, it was only about telecom operators and equipment vendor and maybe regulators. And that's all. We built 3G, we built 4G. But in 5G time, this is totally different. We need everybody to participate. Banking industry, manufacturing, and the users, because everybody has to contribute for ideas, user cases, and then we can push 5G move forward. So therefore, again, really a big appreciation to this Zenith Tech Fair 2.0, which can bring people together, share ideas, share innovative topics, so we can move together. And what is our slogan for this Tech Fair 2.0? Can anybody tell me? Future forward. Thank you very much.